Hi guys, I'm currently in the shed right now uh, because it's nice out and because Mason is editing the video so I didn't want to film in there. You might see my camera pulsing a bunch, it's trying really hard to focus on me, but if you find it annoying, I would just put it on in the background, don't even watch this video, just listen if you want to know what's up. I have a visitor. You're a mess, bud. This is Mr. Possum. Mr. Possum, huh? He's a good kitty. Okay, run away. Uh, so, I just wanted to make this video to talk about, <laughs> he's so cute, what is going on in life and to apologize for not uploading for the past weeks. I am filming, but the editing process has been too much to even think about, honestly. So, firstly, one of the reasons my phone is trying to focus so hard is probably because there's a crack in front of the lens, which I said. And more than that, there is literal glass, like, falling out of my phone. It's so busted, like, the entire front of it. So, I'm supposed to send my phone in to Verizon for three days, and they're going to fix the screen or possibly just replace the whole phone if they see fit. I'm hoping they replace the whole phone because this phone has started having quite a few troubles. It doesn't help that I drop my phone all the time because I am the clumsiest person on earth. <laughs> um, that also leads me into my brain has not been here at all. I've been incredibly stressed, I've been having issues forming sentences and thoughts, and I've been stuttering, which is not my general problem. Uh, my only mental problems that I know of are like ADHD and bipolar depression, and they don't bother me that much, I'm kind of just used to it. So I try really hard to like make sense, and it takes little bit of effort, but here I am. I'm trying. I had some stresses happen to me recently, which are causing me to not think straight, and the idea of sitting down and editing for an entire day, because if you don't break it up into a couple hours a day, go away. There's bugs everywhere. <laughs> um, you have to literally sit there like the entire day and edit it. Props to any YouTuber that uploads even more than three times a week because, dear God, it is so hard to like fully edit a video in a day. It takes so much effort. This is why people have editors and I'm sure YouTubers have talked about it a ton and I should understand that because as a kid I did YouTube a lot but it was like just cutting and pasting, barely any actual editing, so the actual editing part is what makes it hard, like, trying to put your heart and soul into it. And due to all this stress, I have been hard, ha, hard, <laughs> yep, yeah, there it is, I've been having a hard time trying to film and edit. I can film, it's not too hard, I have filmed a video, it's just the editing process that takes so long, so much brain power, like, I don't have it. Uh, so let me get into what is causing these problems. Getting a new job. A job I applied to months and months and months ago is finally kind of opening up to hiring people again. So I went and got my fingerprints taken, I have to fill out forms on my email, I have to, like, look for calls and emails to do and like some of it's time sensitive so I have to be like on it um which kind of worries me about sending my phone in so I've been kind of like what do I do like do I send my phone in or do I let it completely fall apart it's been tough um just in that <laughs> alone because my brain does not process um I'm trying so hard to get this out <laughs> so that I don't have another 15, 20 minute video. Okay, beyond that, my other stresses have been, for the past week, um, every time I ate something, I would throw up. I would just get nauseous the entire day, 
and threw up the food. I'm doing a lot better now, but don't know what that was about. Didn't go to the doctor for that. Nope. <laughs> Why would I do that? So, didn't do that. Um, and I've been trying to avoid it, but the hardest thing that has happened um, is that I had to put my horse down that I've had for 16 years really unexpectedly it's it's not like you know when a dog gets 16 years old they're getting sick and tired and they can't walk really well and they're going blind stuff like that it wasn't it wasn't like that it was it was really sudden um long story short he was in a lot of pain he had a bone infection and he was already on medications that should have cleared up the bone infection and it wasn't um we weighed all the options that we possibly could, and the best thing for him was to not be in pain anymore. So, that's, that was, like, the hardest decision I've had to make in my entire life. Um, I've cried every time I said this, even though I've filmed this video a couple times. This is not so bad this time. Um, if you don't have horses, then you probably don't fully understand but just imagine having your dog taken away from you way before it was time to go you know um and that's how i feel like he's always been there i raised him from a foal like not a lot of people get to raise their horses from being born but like i was there when he was born and um he was the first horse i ever trained by myself i first saddled him when i was like 12 and I trained him, so it's been really hard to deal with. It's been like two weeks, I think, maybe a little more, and it still hurts, obviously, and it's going to for a while, so that has just completely destroyed me, and some days are better than others. For the first couple days, I definitely just woke up crying and went to bed crying. Um, this kind of leads me into the other thing. Uh, not only that, being the reason why I haven't been uploading, uh, my mom decided that I needed to get back on the horse, as they say, and ended up getting a young horse for us to train and i really didn't want her to i really didn't want another horse or anything like that so that was already tough and then he's like not he's like really green broke so he's been a lot of time and a lot of energy to work with and i come home and i'm like so tired and there's no way i'm just gonna sit and edit a video for a long time um Plus, I've been over there, so I don't really have, you know, I don't have the time to film stuff like that. I have filmed, but editing and filming takes so much time. That's all I'm going to say. That's the end of that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I have all that going on, and it's been causing a lot of mental stress, and maybe that's part of why I was getting sick, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm not on any social media right now besides, I guess, YouTube and TikTok. I don't have Instagram, I don't have Facebook, I don't have Twitter, I've never had Twitter, but I'm just not on social media right now. I didn't really want, I don't really want to think about things, I guess. And talk about it if someone asks so i'm just telling you and now there's no reason for people to ask and i, I don't want to talk about it much more than that maybe later on i'll make a, a nice video about him and um hopefully it's not too hard to like go through and see pictures and videos of him there there wasn't enough time there wasn't enough time on 
earth in the universe for me to get enough pictures and videos of my horse because he was one of my favorite things on this planet. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe one day I'll go more in depth about the whole thing. Um, maybe it'll help people through their stuff with, with their animals. But right now I think it's a little soon. Um, besides that, I'm just living trying to take care of the puppies, and maybe one day YouTube will be more of a priority, because I know right now I only have so many followers, subscribers, whatever, that actually watch, but I figured, you know, maybe you guys want to know. One day maybe I'll have like a thousand people that actually wonder where I'm at and want to know what's going on, so... Maybe we'll be able to look back on this video and be like, hey, you know, that, that happened. That's stupid. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, maybe. Maybe not. Or I'm just ADHDing. Um, yeah, okay. I'm sorry for all the ums. I'm sorry for all the pulsing. But that's the video. I will try to start uploading whenever everything starts smoothing out. It might not, but when I feel like it's smoothed out or like I can handle all of it at once, I will start uploading again weekly, consistently, on the, like, right time, right day, because, I mean, that was already hard because I have no good internet, so right now we have Wi-Fi. We just got it. Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. You hear about this new thing called Wi-Fi? got that now. Uh, so yeah. Uh, thank you to everyone who does watch me. If you do want to see me more, I have been on TikTok a lot. It's just so much easier to put content on TikTok because it's handed to you and you don't have, there's not a ton of editing that goes into it if you don't want to. So it's easier. So I actually have 13,000 followers over there, which is absolutely insane. My brain hasn't even grasped it. I only get, you know, 600 views mainly now, which is still so many more than I ever thought I would get. It's way more than I get on here. So that's freaking crazy. Maybe one day I'll have that many on YouTube. I don't see that happening anytime soon, but it would be really cool. Um... But thank you to anyone who does watch me and does care about me and, like, wonders where I am. Thanks for being subscribed. That means a lot. It really does. It's weird to say. Like, even if it's only how- I don't even know how many. I haven't even been checking my YouTube, so... Really sorry about that if, uh... If I should know that information, I <laughs> get Whatever. Okay. I'm, I've been talking and rambling a lot, just going off on tangents a little bit, so I'm okay. I'm, I'm doing a, a little better. I hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, if you're not, I'm here for anybody that comments on my stuff or maybe come over to TikTok, comment on that stuff, and maybe I'll add you and we'll talk if, if you need help going through anything. Um... It's nice to go through things with people, and the world is really going through it right now, through a lot of stuff, and this year's been hard on everybody in different ways, and it's it's been intense. It's been really intense. I'm trying to talk. Flies are landing on me. Um, so, if, if we just stick together... Can, if we're all friendly, I can't, I can't think, I can't talk, I swear. It's been hard. <laughs> and let's all stick together and be friendly and we'll make it through it, you know? Even if the apocalypse happens. Seems like it is like, maybe like, that far from happening. So, I'm here. You're here since you're watching and... Thank you.
for watching. I guess have a nice day and stay safe. Bye-bye.